Welcome into NBA Now by Chat Sports, all things Lakers. I'm Hannah Kulik, aka Laker Hand. You can follow me on Twitter at Hannah underscore Kulik and on Instagram at Hannah Rose Kulik. Okay, Laker fans, we have a very exciting video and we have a lot to talk about. Today was the NBA lottery and the Los Angeles Lakers, who were projected to have the 11th lottery pick in the draft, ended up getting the number fourth pick in the NBA draft, which of course there was only a 9% chance that they would land in that top four. So obviously the basketball gods are on our side and this truly could change everything. It could have a dramatic impact on the Lakers future. But anyway, I asked you to send in some questions via the Chat Sports YouTube channel. Really quickly, I do want to take a second to remind you all that if you are not yet subscribed to Chat Sports on YouTube, hit that subscribe button down below because it is obviously going to be an extremely exciting off season and I want to make sure you guys don't miss a single second of it. Thank you guys so much for sending in such great questions. We have a lot to talk about so let's just get right into it okay this first question is from at manifold hope and he asks could we trade up for zion and send lebron james to new orleans then they would have lebron and ad okay so there is no way that the new orleans pelicans are trading zion for anyone and there is also no way that the lakers are going to be trading lebron for anyone unless lebron james comes to the lakers and demands a trade he is not going to be traded, you guys. So that is definitely not going to happen. And I also don't think that even though the New Orleans Pelicans do have the number one trade in the draft, I don't even think that's going to be enough to convince Anthony Davis to stay in New Orleans. I don't think he wants to stay. I think he wants to leave regardless. So either way, that's definitely not going to happen. Pelicans aren't trading for Zion. The Lakers aren't trading LeBron. And I don't think AD is staying in New Orleans regardless. Okay, these next two questions are pretty similar, so I'm just going to combine them for the sake of time. The first one is from The Geek Freak, and he just wants to know if the Lakers are going to trade their lottery pick for AD still. Then the other one is from Mike Gell, and he asks, does leadership finally commit to the kids and add another at number four? Or will they go for another pie in the sky offer for AD? I definitely think they are still going to try to trade for AD, especially now that they got the number fourth pick in the draft. And listen, the Pelicans may be more inclined now because if Anthony Davis says, you know what, even though you guys have the number one pick, you're most likely going to draft Zion, I still want to leave. I still want to be traded or I'm just going to leave him for agency. Then if I were the New Orleans Pelicans, I would now look at the Lakers trade offer and I would say, okay, we number fourth pick from the Lakers and then let's say we get Ingram and Alonzo Ball from the Lakers. Suddenly you are really in a great position and your rebuilding phase for your future is looking pretty darn good. So if I were the Pelicans and Anthony Davis says, listen, I still want to be traded, I would definitely consider the Lakers package now because having the number one and the number fourth plus at least one or two of the Lakers, you know, future stars, young players, that's a very attractive offer. I'm still leaning towards Anthony Davis wanting to leave. Um, again, I don't know 100% if the fact that the New Orleans Pelicans do have the number one pick in the draft now, if that's going to change, I don't really think it does change much for him. But all I know is that it definitely does make the Lakers package much more attractive. Especially now that the Lakers do have the number fourth pick, I'm actually more inclined to want to try to trade for Anthony Davis again. I know I said in the past that I still have a little bit of trauma from this past regular season and the past NBA trade deadline um, just because I believe that obviously us trading for AD kind of destroyed the Lakers season. But now that we have the number fourth pick, I think that we have a little bit more trade value, obviously. So I am personally more inclined to try to trade for AD again this summer if he still wants to leave the Pelicans. But I'm curious what you guys have to say. Do you guys want the Lakers to try to trade for AD again this summer? Type Y for yes or N for no down below because... I think this number fourth pick honestly changes like everything. Okay, moving on, this next question is from um, Daniel Pantaleo, and he asked, if you were the Wizards, would you take the Lakers number fourth pick for Beal and a bad contract, but not John Wall? That's actually interesting, and you know what? It actually ties into this next question, so I'm just going to kind of tie these two together, which is from Gary 
Oh, goodness. I don't know how to say this last name. Um, Gylian. And he asks, uh, what do you do with the fourth pick if you trade and for who? Who would you offer? So I actually would think that if the Lakers are not going to use this number four uh, pick to trade for AD, I think that Bradley Beal is the next bet. So I would not be too surprised if the Lakers do use this pick in a trade to get Bradley Beal. If I were the Washington Wizards, would I take that? Um, I'm not sure. I, I maybe would. Um, I think if the Lakers offer the number fourth and then, you know, one of their members of the young core, maybe two, I don't know if that's too much for Bradley Beal, but I think if they do offer the number fourth pick and then at least one member of the young core, then I think the Washington Wizards would definitely be inclined to do it. But that's really interesting because, again, I would like the Lakers to try to trade for Bradley Beal this summer if for some reason they don't land AD or they don't land a max star free agent. Okay, before we move on to some more of these questions, I want to take a quick second to remind you guys to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's obviously going to be a very exciting summer for Lakers. Laker fans so whether you just want to stay up to date on everything that's happening with the Lakers this summer or if you want to get in shape this summer I also post a lot of workout videos and fitness tips on my Instagram as well so make sure to give me a follow on those too my Twitter is at Hannah underscore Kulik and my Instagram is at Hannah Rose Kulik okay let's get to some more of these questions this next question is from George he asks um, if we don't use the pick to trade for AD who would be our choice at number four Quite the drop off after the first three. And then there's also a few more that are pretty similar, so I'm just gonna combine them all. Um, one is from Carlo Wu. Who will we pick, RJ or Cam or Ja? Well, really quickly, um, RJ and Ja are supposed to be the number two and number three pick in the draft, so I don't think they're still gonna be available by the time the Lakers go if we do keep the pick. Um, then another one by Ernie, who should the Lakers target? And then also Sean Jones. How are we picking at number four? So right now, the player that is projected to go number four is Darius Garland. He's a point guard out of Vanderbilt. He's 6'2". And it's actually interesting because he suffered a season-ending knee injury just five games into the regular season. So you wouldn't necessarily think that a guy who only played for five games of his freshman season in college is going to be number four. But during those five games, he did show quite a lot of skill. He actually shot 47.8% out of 23 three-pointers that he attempted. So that is really amazing. That's something that the Lakers could desperately use. Again, he is a point guard. He's more of a shooting point guard though, so he would play alongside well with Lonzo Ball, who is obviously more of a facilitator type point guard. So again, I'm not 100% sure if the Lakers do keep their pick. There's obviously a million of possibilities and things could always happen. You just never quite know with Los Angeles Lakers. But right now, um, Darius is projected to go number four. So I'm just gonna play it a little safe and think that would be the guy that the Lakers would most likely pick if they do keep their pick and don't trade it. Okay, and then this last question is an interesting one. It is actually putting two different scenarios together and asking which one I think is most likely for the Lakers. Um, going to happen. So it is from Richard McCabe. I know I should know how to say your name and I still can't really say your last name. Um, but it says, which is more likely to happen, trading a draft pick uh, to a team to get a really good player or a free agent deciding to come to LA? That's really hard. Obviously, I think we would all prefer a big free agent to come to the Lakers. But if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I think it is more likely that the Lakers are going to use this pick in a trade to try to get a player to come to the Lakers. Um, it is just, especially now that Magic Johnson is gone, it just seems kind of unlikely that we are going to be able to convince one of these top free agents to come to the Lakers. You know, obviously crazier things have happened. We obviously got LeBron James last summer and no one expected that to happen. But as of right now, I think that if the Lakers are going to get a star, I think they are most likely going to have to do it through some type of a trade, unfortunately. Now that may change, I'm hoping it changes, but for the time being, I think that is what it's going to be. But I'm curious, do you guys think that the Lakers are most likely to get a star this summer via trade um, using this number four pick and then obviously one or two members of the young core or do you think we are going to be getting a max free agent this summer? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for sending me in such amazing questions. It was such a great day in Lakerland. Love when things work out for the Lakers and we get the number fourth pick 
in the NBA draft if we decide to keep it or if we decide to use it as a trade that still remains to be seen but all in all this definitely means that things are looking up for the Lakers so thank you guys so much for watching again there is going to be a part two to this Q&A because there are a lot more other questions that I wanted to make sure I answer so we're just gonna do it in a separate video to make sure that this video is not too long don't forget to subscribe to chat sports down below follow me on Twitter at Hannah underscore Kulik and on Instagram at Hannah Rose Kulik and until next time Laker Han is out bye guys